Welcome to the Mark West Sportscast. Like, like the cameras, like you always hurt, you're always hurt. That's part of the detriment of your uh, uh, character being a Hall of Famer. You're not a Hall of Famer because you're piggybacking off LeBron. No. But now, did you have so a great many- game? Yes, you did. Hands down. You over here like housing niggas. You feel me? Like you just taking the rebounds. You 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 like like uh, I'm saying put back everything. You doing your thing. Good, if he has a good five years with the same amount of production and he's able to lower the times he gets hurt, which he comes up short. Which they're allowing players to do now with the, with the maintenance policy or maintenance uh, plan that they got going on for players like Kawhi. Um, he is definitely gonna be a Hall of Famer. That's Carmel that's all I'm saying. Famer. That's Chris, all I'm saying. He, he's a Hall of, Hall of Famer. Famer too, of but course, y'all Chris Paul's a Hall of Famer. In the playoffs and regular season, where where y'all don't make the playoffs, or y'all make the playoffs and y'all get kicked out of the playoffs as soon as possible. But he's yeah. been dominant for a long period of time. But you lose, and that's that's what it that's what matters. It doesn't matter if you lose. It the mas- It just matters if you're consistent. Every year, you're consistently injured. Cause there's a bunch of players who haven't won a ring who's in, who's in the Hall of Fame. You're consistently injured. Tracy McGrady in the Hall of Fame, no Chris ring. Boss is a Hall Grant of Fame. Grant Hill man. in the Hall of Fame, no ring. What does the Hall of Fame? I mean? just explained it. It you have to have longevity consistently. If you consistently put in high stats, you think Paul which Pierce is what of- Anthony Davis has done, and then you add a ring to that. You think Paul Pierce a Hall of Famer? That makes him a Hall of Famer. I think Hall of, uh, Paul I, Pierce is definitely a Hall of Famer. What do you first mean? First ballot. See, yes, he's a first ballot Hall, Hall of Famer. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. You see T.O.? You see T.O.? T.O. is supposed to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's that great. Paul he's Pierce definitely. is not that great. You could be a Hall of Famer coming in, 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 in the Hall of Fame five, ten years after you retire. Paul Pierce like, it's a did it for a very long time. It's a different hierarchy when it comes to the Hall of Fame. A, now, when you say AD. I don't even, I don't even like Paul Pierce. He's a bitch-ass nigga. You feel me? Why? Why you got me like defending Paul Pierce, bro? What the hell? Because <laughs> it's look, like me defending you know LeBron. who's the first ballot Hall of Famer? Ray Allen. First ballot Hall of Famer? KG. First ballot Hall of Famer is not Paul Pierce. Why first not? First ballot. What? Paul you Pierce, Pierce, is, Doc, Paul Pierce with, is the best scorer out of all three of those you guys. You was with Doc Rivers getting your ass whooped. Because he of a was sudden, by himself. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, what player can you got, you got problems with the Heat. You got problems with the Heat. How you got problems with the Heat? Your problem is with LeBron. What it's pl- not with the Heat. What player does it by himself, though? No player, player does it by himself. What player does it by himself? There's no the way they player make it seem, that does it by himself. The That's way they why make LeBron it seem, needs AD right now. Oh my God. That's why the Heat, you know, need, what Kyrie said. need Bam and Gro- Dragic right now. Jordan no. needed Pippen. No. You know? Jordan Tim needed, needed somebody Tony that Parker was going to go Ginobili. ahead and make it go in the bucket. Kobe needed Gasol. You know what Kobe saying? needed somebody that was consistent, that would do what he does consistently. If you don't not, don't have a number two, you're not winning the championship. All right. Give you the example. only time Chris that Boss that is a Hall of Famer. How come you're not in the Hall of Fame yet? Who's that? You don't think Chris Boss is better than, a, than people like Paul Pierce? I think he's better than Paul Pierce because he do way more than Paul Pierce. He rebound the ball. He got a great IQ. He can shoot the ball. I, I would say they were about it's the different, same. Different positions, both, both but of, both of those players about the same. Only, nah. you know, only reason why you give uh, like because Paul Pierce is the better scorer, but Chris Bosh is the better all around player. Chris Bosh is KG player. again. He's a young KG all over again. He's a better better all around player. He gets more rebounds. He defends. You know, he gets you block shots. You know, um, Chris Bosh is a better all around player, and he had a uh, but and Paul Pierce had a longer career, so Paul Pierce, you can't discount what he's done. He's 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 one of the top twenty scores. I'm gonna discount that shit. He's one of the top twenty twenty scores, I believe, of all time. You know, so, but he hasn't done it done enough, and he's definitely not better than no Dwayne Wade. He did his best, but his best just look, wasn't good enough. <laughs> look, look, I don't care what you're saying right now because I'm going to go ahead and say exactly what I feel about Chris Paul. The same um, – I'm not Chris Paul, but Paul Pierce, the same way um, he says um, the things he say about the Miami Heat. Let me get let – me, let me just put some shit out here in the, uh, in the atmosphere so everybody can absorb that. Your problem is not with the Heat. Your problem was with LeBron. All them times when you wasn't winning, LeBron was not on the heat. 
our rivalry is who? The Pacers, the Knicks. It's not you. Your 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 rivalry was with Cleveland because y'all had always had to face one of the greatest player, if not the greatest player of all time in the NBA. But Paul Pierce, you suck. Paul Pierce, you're not a great analyst. You know why you're not a great analyst? Analyst because like I'm you sh- definitely suck. Right as now an you should be neutral. You know why? Because you should be hating LeBron. Definitely sucks as an analyst. You I should can't be stand you should Paul be hating Pierce. LeBron for LeBron coming to Miami. You know, it's um, like as much as you hated him on the court, you hate him like. Probably even more as an analyst. Like, shut the fuck up. Because he's not he's not unbiased. He's biased. I feel you when it comes to if we're playing Boston Celtics. But when we playing everybody else, when we play the person, right when we're that. playing the he's person biased. that when we're playing um LeBron, the person that who you really should be hating, the one that came to Miami. Like, hey, like we don't have no rivalry with you. Yeah, we played each other because we were in the East, but we didn't have no flick with y'all. Again, you go to 30 for 30s and shit, it has nothing to do with Miami versus Boston without LeBron. When LeBron wasn't here, there's no 30 for 30s Boston versus Miami, this fucking rivalry where you hate us so much, where you can't motherfucking be objective. You on ESPN, it should be neutral right now. You hate the Heat and you hate LeBron. So you should be able to say, like, really... Like, be objective, you know, but again. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a really good point. It's like the perfect opportunity for him to, to actually be step his game an up. actual journalist and be <laughs> unbiased. But, you know, he's just typical Paul Pierce. Like, yeah, I'm better than LeBron, like, come on, man. and I'm better than the Pete. Heat. Your but yet they Pete. beat you year after year after year. So after year. let's talk about LeBron and his legacy, though. Yeah. Um, like I said, you know, I – Admire your optimism, Wes, thinking that the Heat can come back and win this series. But I still think, unfortunately, LeBron's bitch ass 